Hi, my name is Jenny Sherman, and I write for TheExaminer.com, Inside Pulse Movies, and the Dallas-based website Red Carpet Crash. And um, today is the third full day of the Dallas International Film Festival, and I'm just here to tell you about one of the movies that I watched yesterday. It is uh, Famke Janssen's directorial debut called Bringing Up Bobby. Um, you will recognize... Uh, Famke, it's really hard for me to pronounce her name, Famke Janssen, um, played Jean Grey in the first three X-Men movies. And she was at the premiere of her film last night, and goodness, she's gorgeous. But anyway, she's also incredibly talented behind the camera. She came up with the story on her own, um, so she wrote and directed the film. Um, it stars uh, Mia Jovovich as Mila, sorry, Mila jo Jovovich, as um, Olive, who is a single mother of a 10-year-old, 11-year-old boy, um, Bobby. And she is in Oklahoma with her son, and she's a con artist, doesn't have a job. The dad is missing in action. Um, we don't exactly hear what the story is with that, but the bond that she has with this kid is amazing. It's um, she calls him all kinds of names from rabbit to puppet to I mean it's just so cute. He can do no wrong in her eyes, and she will do anything for him. Um, she finds a house in Oklahoma. We don't exactly know how she gets the house, but um, as Bobby is playing in the street on a skateboard, he gets hit by a car. Um, the driver of that car is uh, played by Bill Pullman. Um, his wife in the film is played by Marsha Cross. And they are two very wealthy real estate people. Um, he owns the largest real estate company in Oklahoma. And um, they just kind of take in Olive and Bobby. And they start to provide for them. And um, eventually, Olive is arrested. Uh, in a very, very heart-wrenching scene, Olive and Bobby are bowling at a bowling alley and the police come in and Bobby is literally ripped from, from her arms and he's stuck um, alone. Um, the film just deals with the struggles of, you know, a single mother doing what she thinks is her best to provide for her children and then ultimately at the end the bigger sacrifices that she has to make to make sure that he has the best future. Um, Famke talked last night about how the film was inspired a lot by films from the 30s and also from the 70s. Um, in the movie uh, Olive, the main character, dresses like she's from the 1930s, like she's a pinup girl all the time. So she very much stands out in Oklahoma. And there's a lot of really funny funny scenes about how, how she's definitely a fish out of water. Um, and it's it's a really cute, they she and her son, one of the things they do is uh, recite different movie lines and they're mostly from the 30s and 40s and they try to guess the movie. Um, but she also wanted to bring elements of the 70s films like uh, Bonnie and Clyde and Harold and Maude and um, she wanted to bring some of that uneasiness to the film so about halfway through it it shifts very drastically in tone. Um, the movie was excellent and I highly recommend it. Uh, it will be released this October. Um, I believe the release date was October 21st. Um, I will confirm that and get back to you. But I highly recommend it. Please check it out when you get a chance. And I will be back with more reviews from the Dallas International Film Festival. Thank you so much. Bye.